This 20 year old otaku is asking for advice on his dating profile. Let's see if we can help him. Kevin, we sent you overseas to study, not find a lady buddy. But dad, I want to live. Uh, anyways, guys, uh, this is a viral thread on Reddit. There was a whole bunch of comments pouring in um, as advice and feedback on this guy's dating profile. A lot of guys have been doing this lately, David, on Reddit. Do you think it's because more guys are what? Getting on the apps or they're at least asking the internet for advice? I think there's, in a way, more guys that live their life online but also still have a chance in real life. Mm. But their social circle is online. Huh. Anyway, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. We're going to see if we can help Kevin from Hong Kong out. But first, check out Smala Sauce, Instagram, at Smala Sauce. Guys, they are shipping out in mid-November. Very, very excited for everybody to get their order. So orders are still going on. But yeah, going to be in a market soon. I'm very excited. Um, I would say... Let's just pop up some photos of Kevin right here. He's talking right. about his glow up. Mm. He goes to the Chalmers University of Technology. That's going to be relevant later. But uh, long story short, Andrew, he does kind of look like a guy in an anime who used to be weak. And he took some super serum and got oh. super ripped. He's He's been doing his push-ups, man. Shout out to him. He did the number one thing that everybody would say is get fit. Yeah. Get fit. Um, Immediately, what are your thoughts, Andrew? Because let's be honest. His photo shoots, they do look very anime, Twitch, perhaps overseas. I believe he no. is a international student from Hong Kong, so that may account. So if you guys are at home right now being like, what's going on? The, just the photo filters look kind of weird. He is from a different culture. Right, and also he's in Sweden. I think that counts too because Sweden is already a different culture than America. It is a Western uh, country still, but it's not like – a British country. So that's why I feel like his aesthetic is going super artsy, real dark tones, kind of that purple vibe, a lot of purple and blue colors. Would you say almost it looks like an anime screensaver in some of the photos? Yeah, I thought I thought he he would be he would make a great AI anime character. Right, though, right, right. This is very Gen Z, guys. So I want everybody to be sure, like, and I think that this is going to be useful for everybody, even not in this situation, because it's just teaching guys how to make reads, right? Yeah, and I think. My first advice, and we're going to get into all the comments uh, of other people, but my first advice, and I'm going to stand by this for all the videos that we do, is like, take advice from the internet, but you need to cross-reference it with real-life advice. You need a friend who has also used the dating apps and found some success in it that can actually help you in real life. This is sometimes, dating and dating apps is one thing that when you have in-person help, like a group of bros that are all on it together and you're kind of sharing feedback and sharing information, that's really, really important. Talk about fraternity, camaraderie, In-person mentorship, yes. I'm not saying they have to be an expert. They don't have to be the, most handsomest guy in the world. They just have to have found some success on the He did on say, I'm, you know, looking for advices, especially from the people who got a lot of matches or successes. Yeah, so talk to the other guys at your school, at your design school, or that you meet. And yeah, also get that advice and cross-reference it with stuff you hear on the internet. Based off Kevin's profile from Hong Kong, what do you think success is to him? I don't know, but I think he needs to find that out for himself, right? Is it to date around? Is it just to get experiences and meet different types of women that he's never met before? Or is it to have a lot of fun and go on dates and maybe get laid? We have to know what your idea, or just get a girlfriend. Yeah. What is your idea of, of a success? I, I would say he's working with some decent cards, right? I mean, I probably got, we got a cousin or something like that who totally has this aesthetic. Yeah, dude. This but like is, a little bit more of an Americanized version. I, I mean, this is, this look, if he's tall enough, can even a, Appeal to non-Asian women who are into anime, K-dramas, that type of shaggy hair. I, I want to say this stuff. even leans more towards anime, J-drama, J-pop than even K-pop. Possibly, but I'm saying it, it's in the similar sphere in my opinion. So, right. So he's got, he's got some appeal. Right. Is Good he trying him. to attract other international students from the same part of the world that hemisphere that hears from no. in Sweden. Sweden is a very international place. Is he trying to uh, attract a Swedish milkmaid so, with the blonde pigtails? No, like but let's keep it real, David. What are some archetypes of maybe women, if we had to guess, that may not be attracted to his pictures as much? Girls who probably place a lot of sports or maybe listen to a lot of okay. rap music or like a lot of... Yeah. Yeah. The little, the ones that would date 
bigger guys with tattoos or like an ABG type girl might that's not okay, be attracted right? to him. Yeah. That's okay because no. everybody everybody got a different lane. Everybody got a lane. What do you think about niche maxing versus playing the universal lane, which is trying to be like a seven out of ten to everybody versus being a zero out of ten to some lane and polarizing it to be ten out of ten to somebody else in a different lane? It's so hard to tell because like he might rank technically higher in his like anime photographer lane cosplay than he than he ever could even if he tried to turn into a different lane so possibly this is his lane this is his passion this is his life this is where his mind is at that's okay he does got the asus phone though. that's like that's deep cut hk android yeah yeah i mean listen Again, you need to find a group of guys in person. That's my advice to you is not just to tell you what to do through the internet. It's to go find a group of friends that you guys can talk about this kind of stuff in a healthy manner together. Right. Uh, this is the first comment saying, hey, man, you are one of the few guys on here who actually has an appealing profile and you know how to appease the female gaze. Other guys have no idea how to do this. They're just thinking about what would impress other guys. Bravo to you. Well, can I be honest? If he goes to a design school, he's probably spent quite a lot of time around other women. Right. At design school. W I women think. who like design as yeah, well. Yeah, women like who, di who like design. So he... I think he does have an idea of what at least that segment of girl likes. What do you think about the shirtless photo? I think ultimately, if you work hard to get a six pack and you are that buff and you're that ripped and your body fat percentage is that low or maybe you're really skinny so you had to build up the mass, you should show it off. Yeah, I, I feel I, like this is an opinion of a guy to s remove the shirtless photo who probably doesn't look that good with the shirt off. Yeah, I would say keep the shirt photo, shirtless photo, but put it at the bottom. I think at the end of the day, as much as some girls say, oh, I don't like the mirror selfie. If you take a clean one, it's still at the end of the day showing off your body. You're man. saying you're showing off the but, goods. But maybe you don't have to put it as the first photo and throw it in people's face, right? Let them scroll down, sure. like your profile, read through it, and then be like, oh, cool, he's also fit, you know? And I think there's a way to take a shirtless photo by yourself and not make it so, like, cringy. But you might, it might take a many tries, right? You might no. have to take 50 to 100 photos well, to get you, that one. he's a photographer, so he should, he should know. Somebody say, you look too pretentious. Are you modeling for a magazine or trying to meet a partner? You look like you are trying to film a Jay Chow album cover. That's funny. I, yeah, I think, again, he has to define what is success to him on the dating apps. What is success to you on the dating apps? Is it literally just going on dates with women? Is it getting laid? Is it finding a girlfriend that you actually like, right? Somebody said, you're a, look good, you're a good looking guy, so you got the main thing figured out already. However, you don't show any sociality. Nobody knows if you have friends, what you do in a group setting. How important is this? Yes, it looks uh, kind of depressive, and it looks like you might be slightly antisocial or at least introverted. Right, like sure. you might not have a hyperactive social life that the girl's going to be able to be a part of as well if you yeah. guys choose to date each other. Yes, Somebody said, uh, why are you on Tinder and Hinge? Aren't there better platforms for a college student in their 20s? Just go to the library or join some student groups. I, I don't really agree with this. I just feel like as, as messed up and as much as everybody hates online dating in 2023, that's where like everybody has shifted in terms of usage rate. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, I think online dating, if he has a very specific image in mind, then the very specific type of girl is going to be attracted to him and... He just needs to be on there long enough to cross paths with her. Right. It depends on what pool you're fishing in and what lure you're using, right? Yeah. You know how different lures, I, I guess, in fishing appeal to different types of fish, right? Yes. You're trying to get sea bass. You're trying to get a skinny fish, whatever, thick fish. Anyway, somebody said, um, you know, you just got to be uncomfortable for three minutes every week and ask your guy friends to take some photos of you while you guys are out. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you got having guy friends help, dude. Other bros, you you need them, man. You need friends. Um, a lot of people are talking about please get a haircut. Your pictures are too dark. They don't show your face very well. Perhaps is he going for too dark of an anime brooding? You know, like Final Fantasy seven to eight to nine aesthetic. Yeah, I personally think so. But you know, I may. It's hard for me to put myself in the mind of the type of girl that likes him i know that there is a segment of girls who are attracted to this they may not be in large numbers in sweden 
but they're probably international students. They might be international students. They might be other international students. So in that case, they'll understand the vibe. So I'm not sure about the tweaking the vibe things. That's actually not the biggest deal to me. I actually don't think that's make or breaking it. Right. Somebody says, uh, you know, I just, this guy said in America, this would totally not work. Yes. And someone said, oh, I don't know. You're a shredded K-pop max guy. Bro's a model. So it's interesting to see that people have different perceptions, but they're probably, like we said, they're judging Kevin from their world Dude, and it, the circles that they inhabit. Not everybody's going to live the same life on this earth, guys. Yeah, I just wish that more people would provide like what type of girl they're trying to attract or what they think they can do or the type of environment they're in. That kind of detail would be a lot more helpful. In is it, is it a little bit like fighting? Like, hey, man, should I grapple? Should I kick? Or should I throw a lot of heavy punches? And you're like, dude, I don't know. What one are you good at? Who are you fighting? Right. It right, matters right. a lot. What weight class are you in? Exactly. Somebody said, um, you know, hey guys, Kevin, watch out. Because I know that I was being taken advantage of because I also am anime and otaku maxed. Don't get abused. A lot of women dated me just for my body and my look and my vibe. And they used me up and they just left me empty, depressed, and lonely. Don't let it happen to you. And this was coming from another guy who has the same aesthetic as Kevin Whoa. and said that women used him for his cosplay sexuality. <laughs> I did not expect this comment. I can't think, I think it makes sense because, you know, as people not in that world, I think you tend to forget how large that world is and how in that world girls are attracted to guys and girls want to get down to. And sometimes they have such a fetish for that, 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 that style that you mean the, the, the anime guy there come to is life. a market a girl who just wants to lay up with this dude uh, he looks like a protagonist in attack on titan yeah yeah which is interesting and uh i've seen it before but i always forget how big the market is but it's there guys so yeah do not get abused again what are you looking for do you have the mental fortitude the mental maturity to handle what is coming your way in case you get a lot of attention but yeah you know to be fair andrew how many guys ever get used and abused like that for their sexuality in this David, life how many asian guys really do in really so i'm not saying whatever happened to this dude he didn't experience it and it's not valid but yeah i'm just yeah, saying a lot valid. of guys would maybe want Pick that me. <laughs> they would maybe use and abuse me all right listen guys it's different for everybody um this per last comments there, there was just a bunch of comments saying different girls like different things who are you trying to appeal to if you are going to seattle so you post a bunch of hiking photos because you think that everybody in seattle likes hiking then you're going to attract a girl that loves hiking and you guys are going to go end up hiking together even though you only put the photo there to attract the girls in the first place maybe that's going to be a nightmare for you because you're going to get stuck in a cycle of doing things that you don't want to do that's really funny um andrew what are the different things that appeal to different people obviously this guy's in Sweden. He's a design student. He's from Hong Kong. He's with the J-pop deep in the Shinjuku, Harajuku aesthetic. However, I mean, do you think it's true? And how, do, how does one appeal to a girl in a CSA or a KSA or a KD5 or a K-Town ABG or a V at ABG or a hipster girl that's part of the film program or the international studies program or she's part of the creative writing program so she's in a different lane? Everybody's in a different lane, right? Everybody's in a different lane. Everybody has their taste. And I think the dating apps just expose you to as many people as possible. And that's the point of it. For you to figure out which lane you are in, you're going to find out by who likes you, who likes you back. You're gonna, But you're just going to deal with rejection. And I think for him, he's not in bad shape in his lane. Dude, he his, could become a Chad of his lane. His lane not? is not my lane. That's not my lane. And I think the types of girls that are attracted to him based off the photos are different than you're the ones saying you're saying you're not in the Maple in. Story lane. I'm not in this lane. I don't view myself that way. And I don't think I've gotten that type of attention. But what I'm saying is... I think he's in a good situation. He's at a good starting point, solid starting point. But uh, he has to just not be a weirdo and also get some other bro friends around him. Even other anime guys who are at least also dating. Maybe a friend with a girlfriend too who can talk to you about his relationship with his girlfriend. I think he should definitely hit up Sweden's cosplay convention, play as Demon Slayer, Sephiroth. You know what I mean, et cetera, et cetera. You could go with the villain. 
antagonist or protagonist. You guys know animes. All right, guys, let us know if that video was helpful at all. Um, please check out smallasauce.com and check out the Instagram right down below. Hopefully that video, you know, I don't know. It's fun, I guess, to judge people's pro. I'm not saying that I have all the answers. That's just my opinion. Anything can happen in this world, but yeah, I do think there are general reads that you make, just like when you watch a basketball player or a football player, you go, oh, you know, the general read would have been to do this in this situation. Anyway, guys, let us know what you guys think about Kevin's situation. Uh, advice for him, not advice. Uh, just in general, do you guys like these videos? Let us know in the comment section below. Until next time, we're the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.